Hey everyone, this is Vincent. So recently I've seen on internet someone playing with uh, the new version of Adobe Firefly and using um, material from a Substance Ready Asset to define the style. So I say, okay, I have to play uh, with it as well. So here, for example, I am in Firefly 2, as you can see, which is in beta, which generates way better images than before, which is great and you can uh, upload an image to match the style. So what did my, uh, the person before me, he went to Substance 3D Assets, like that, so, oops, okay, this one. And he was super wise because what he did was just going to the asset and taking, for example, a, a material here and just taking the image, so he was taking an image like that and applying it on a statue. So I won't do the same thing, but I, I found this idea brilliant and it gave me a, another idea. So let's go back to this. Uh, so my description here is a south of France Mediterranean landscape. And I have this by default, which is, in my opinion, great. But I say, okay, now also we have something new. Also in beta, in Photoshop, you can create filters parametric filters for Photoshop. I made them in Substance 3D Designer and I'm, I had some interesting one and I made one like, for example, the posterize effect, uh, which is great. So I said, okay, let's try that. What if I save that? Uh, let me save that on my desktop here. Um, test02, uh, I'm going to call. And let's see how it goes. I'm going to do it with you and discover. That's the beauty of it. Uh, so if I put that here now, it will look at the style of my image and let's do it again and see how it goes. In theory, it will generate something based on my filter as well. So on my image, sorry. I think that's interesting. Um, so yes, we have to wait a bit and you see, that's cool. It generates something with a style, uh, which is interesting. So. Let's go back here. I made another one, which should be, not sure yet, but it may be by default in um, in uh, Photoshop when it will be released as official. Don't take my word, but still it's interesting. So let me play a bit with this one. I'm going, it, this is like a fur painting. I'm going to diminish a bit the intensity and get something like moving the trail lens, something like that. Maybe a bit bigger. What do you think? this I'm going to reduce okay let's see I think that's cool I like that I'm going to push a bit the curve maybe and the fade let me say it. No, this one I won't move okay so let's say let me okay this one it's a bit better okay so you can play the way you want I can change the angle as well to get oh th uh, this is a bit strong me check. I'm going to diminish this effect. Okay, let's say I like that. Once again, let's save this. I'm maybe just going to override the, the previous one. Uh, test uh, test two. Let's call it test three. Like this. This is fun. Go back to Firefly. Here, you can really spend hours playing. But the fact that you can create filters for Photoshop that you can then use in Firefly, I think it's priceless. So I have this and now generate. And let's see, my name is Vincent Go, and someone made the joke to call me Vincent Van Gogh with this, uh, <laughs> with this uh, filter because it's like an impressionist uh, style. And you see, it gives you stuff like that. So uh, to me, that's, that's pretty cool. It really, it allows you to create like crazy uh, crazy stuff i'm going to do it a last time pushing it a bit harder like this maybe not that much because it's getting crazy but something like that and uh, push the angle randomness as well to something crazy so this isn't even visible what is what is it but i'm just curious what uh, if i do that how it will act Save. Let's overwrite and do it again. We did it here. My test tree is here. So let's see if it's going to get crazy, crazier. 
that's a good way. By the way, I'm using a parametric uh, filters, but I'm pretty sure if you use like a default filter also from Photoshop, it would work. But as I can create my own using Substance Designer uh, for beta right now, you see it gives me something like that. So I can make some new style uh, using this. So the process, Designer, I'm creating a parametric filter for Photoshop, applying it on a picture that I take uh, to help um, driving the uh, Firefly in the generative image creation. So that's it for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, this is just an experiment, but it was fun. So thanks for watching and see you in another video. Bye-bye.